Thank you, everybody, for having us this evening. I think um, my goal tonight is to really uh, connect you to Mills High School and uh, to kind of let you in to see what's been happening at Mills um, over the last few years and um, to make you proud of the extraordinary high school that is here in Millbrae. I wanted to start by thanking the Lions um, for your generous support of Mills High School. So Lion Frank was up here and he often uses this quote at our school site council meetings. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't use it tonight. He often uses uh, the quote, you know, the African proverb that says it takes a village, meaning that it takes an entire community to raise a child. A child has the best chance to become a healthy adult when we as a community take an active role in contributing to the upbringing of that child. And this evening is a testament to the Millbrae's community devotion to our children. From elementary through middle and high school, we all play a vital role in shaping our youth to be healthy individuals that are active and engaged citizens. And it goes without saying, after everything that I heard this evening, that if we made a list of our collective support of the people sitting in this room tonight for our Millbrae Public Schools, that list would be quite impressive. Our community is doing its job as a village. It is my honor to give you an update on the Viking Village tonight and those things we are most proud of. So Mills will turn 60 next year. Students had their first assembly in the center courtyard in 1958. The school opened with no lockers, Mounds of dirt in the center courtyard, a first dance, which was a sock hop, themed new faces, and the mighty Viking was chosen as the defining symbol of the school. And on the first slide there was the original Viking logo taken from the school's first yearbook, the Asgard, in the spring of 1959. And needless to say, the mighty Viking remains a fitting emblem for our school. Mills is a school that is close-knit, a word I just heard many times in the last speech, a close-knit school with a fighting spirit. And essential to our journey is the partnerships that we have with our fellow elementary and middle schools, and you, our civic partners, present this evening. Kelvin shared with me the history of the Millbrae Leos. The majority of them have been from Mills. The Leos <laughs> of our student tonight. The Leos were established in 2007 and they've raised over $50,000 <laughs> and invested nearly 15,000 hours of community service in Millbury and across the globe. That's outstanding work by young people in the last 10 years. I want to thank uh, the LEO advisors, uh, John Munez and Jan and my Mike Rao for working with our Millbury youth. When we work with youth in this capacity, we touch their lives in meaningful ways that they carry with them long beyond high school. Thank you. So when Calvin presented this idea of ecosystem, I thought about how to share the work happening at Mills that impacts our vision for Millbury students. Three key conditions came to mind. These defining conditions include the rigorous teaching and learning happening daily in our classrooms, the opportunities we provide students for learning beyond the classroom and are focused on the well-balanced student. Last year, our faculty and staff revisited our school vision, mission, and student learning outcomes. We felt that it was time for Mills to craft a vision that reflected the rapidly changing world that we lived in. Our conversations were based on discussions about the values that each one of us hold dear and true to the work of educating young people. The Viking vision is that Mills students embrace learning for growth, that they use the power 
of creativity, problem solving, and critical thinking to make a positive impact on our world. The student that comes to us as a freshman in high school should not be the same student that graduates from our mills on graduation day. Through careful nurturing and support and in partnerships with you, our community, we hold a great responsibility to add value to the lives of our students and to enrich their experiences during the four short years they have with us at Mills. We want our students to continue to embrace learning for growth long after they leave because we know, and all of us know in this room, that that is key to successful, happy life. Creativity, collaborative problem solving, and critical thinking are vital skills in today's workplace, in our world. And students will use these skills in many different contexts, both academic and personal spheres. Mills continues to remain an academic powerhouse. Using the measurements of learning from our state and advanced placement tests, Mill's performance is outstanding to, stay, to say the least. Last year, 91% of the students who took the state test met or exceeded the standard for English language arts. That's unheard of. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see us compared to other. San Mateo Union District schools. 75% met or exceeded the standard for math. Mills led the San Mateo Union High School District on these performance measures. On AP exams, nearly 80% of the students who took over 800 exams, the largest number in the school's history, scored proficient or above. In addition, Mills continues to remain at the district schools, at the top of the district schools, with over 70% of the, the seniors graduating A through G ready. That means that they are meeting the admission requirements through UC CSU system. As interest continues to rise by our students in STEAM-related fields, we strive to meet the students' demand for courses, offerings in classes such as biotechnology, computer science, engineering, art and multimedia, and advanced mathematics. Some of these course offerings are supported directly by our parents who donate to our annual fund. We've partnered with the TEALS programs to bring computer engineers into the classroom so students can learn from industry professionals directly. This year, for the first time in Mills history, nearly 50% of the students taking woodworking are female. <laughs> woodworking has changed. It's now a design concept course. We've created a designated space, a maker space, for our student clubs, such as the Mills Robotics Team, to build and tinker and experiment. And just recently, the team applied for and won a grant from the HP Foundation to add equipment into the makerspace. Our science program, with the generous support again of our annual fund and our parents, is one of the best supported programs in the district, with more students successfully taking UC CSU science courses than any other district school. But Mills also believes in learning beyond the classroom. While we uphold the rigorous teaching and learning happening in our school, we actively promote and build upon our student clubs, our music program, the arts, and athletics. Our new band director has added to the music program Jazz Ensemble, which saw program participation triple since last year. He is well on his way to building a legacy music program at Mills. I continue to be proud of our drama and theater program and the success we've had in building a drama program that reaches deep into the creative side of our students and brings out not just those confident students, but those students who are reserved and held back and brings out their creativity and confidence on the stage. 
Each spring, nearly 150 students participate in our musical, from tech crew to pit orchestra to, to cast. I look forward to growing this program in the future so students can continue to explore their creative selves on stage. 50 student clubs meet on a regular basis at Mills. This leads to a vibrant student culture where our students learn leadership, agency, and how to make an impact. Contrary to popular belief, Mills is very much an athletic school. <laughs> we are one of the few schools in the county that is able to compete with four water polo teams and have one of five boys volleyball programs in the country. Our excellent athletic facilities allow us to host CCS tournaments and invitationals, many of which we participate, such as the girls' basketball playoffs last year. Mills has one of the three largest girls' wrestling programs in the county. The most successful divisional swim program for the past two years, and we consistently send individual state qualifiers for cross country and track and field. Many of our dedicated coaches are well-regarded community members, parents, and faculty, and staff. Nearly one-third of our student body participates in one or more sports. Student well-being and social-emotional learning are also a growing focus for Mills. Our new in-house wellness program is in its second year, providing supports and resources to families and students. We've partnered with outside organizations such as Challenge Success and Stanford to put student well-being at the forefront of our work. A new flex time period is part of students' weekly schedule in an effort to give them time within the school day to access supports. Mills is a district model for homework policies, something that we are working on to address across our district in order to better help students feel better balanced. Last week, in recognition of October and Mental Health Awareness Month, a student-led assembly was presented to our students. Multiple parent events help us educate our families about student well-being, so supports are in place both at home and at school. So make no mistake, I love Mills, and I wholeheartedly devote my work to making Mills a rich and transformative place for Millbury students. This is my commitment to you, our Millbury community. I believe I can speak for my esteemed colleagues representing our Millbury schools in this room tonight that we are willing to devote our hearts to this work because this community values learning and supports our public schools. Tonight is a testament to that value we collectively hold. Working together, we can ensure that for the next 60 years, Mills will continue to serve Millbrae and that our elementary and our middle schools stay strong and healthy in an ever-changing world. I wanted to share this student experience with you, so I included a video produced by them last year, as is the tradition at Mills, a final vi video highlighting the school year is produced by students themselves and shared with the faculty and staff. It's my hope that this short video gives you a student perspective of Mills and the vibrant ecosystem on our campus.
Doesn't it make you want to be back in high school? Yeah? <laughs> Come join us. We're having lots of fun. <laughs> Thank you. I'd now like to introduce a person I really look to with great admiration and respect for her commitment and the, the many hours that she puts into supporting Mills High School um, and leading our parents and supporting our students. Uh, our PTO president, Ms. Joy Henry. Thank you, Principal Dzinski. And thank you, Lion President Dave, Lion Cal, Milbray, um, Lions Club, for not only offering us this platform this evening, but for your constant support throughout the years. We are greatly appreciative of that. Um, I wanted to give a quick update of our annual fund. Um, to date, we've uh, reached about $90,000, and that doesn't include the gracious uh, donations that we're going to receive from, um, from sponsors this evening. So that's, that's, a, wonderful, um, that's a wonderful number. Um, our goal this year is about $140,000, so each and every dollar counts. Not quite the number of the MEF, but you know, for a high school, that, that, that's, a, that's a pretty good number. Um, all of the funds that that goes towards is for the students and the programs that, the, that support them at Mills High School. Um, one thing that I do want to mention is that the last couple of years that I've been the PTO president, I've become the voice. However, we have a lot of unsung heroes. Um, someone that helps me in the annual fund and Mills Mania, she's in this room today, Carol Meyer, if not for her. She does, she does a lot, a lot of work behind the scenes and, and Maura and Karen, you're very familiar with the fundraising that goes behind, you know, fundraising and she is, is very instrumental and very key. Um, this is her last year because she has a senior at Mills, so if anyone knows anyone that can help, <laughs> bring them my way. Um, Principal Dzinski did a wonderful job of giving an update of where we're at at Mills, so I'd like to keep, I'd like to keep my speech more on a, a personal level, and, and Frank kind of mentioned he, you know, he reads my parent newsletter and Cal as well, and if, if you're, if anyone reads that, that's, that's my strength, is kind of bringing people in because I, that's what I do, is I have to let you know where I'm coming from because I'm a working parent, I have three kids, and I do this because I do it for the kids, I do it for the community, and I thought, how am I going to get people to support Mills if I don't let you know, one, why I do it, and where I'm coming from and why this is important. So I'm going to bring you back three years when I started. And, and we sat at a table with Pam when she was assistant principal. And it was summer because um, if you don't know, the administration and, and a lot of people here in administration, they work over the summer. So the, the meeting was supposed to be an hour long. I think it went three hours. And what we wanted to do was come up with kind of a theme of how we were going to take us into that year. What I didn't know, it, it would actually take us into three years into that where we are today. So I want to share that with you. And I think a lot of you, this will resound with you. Um, and and one, of those, one of those things that we kind of keep key today is community, the importance of community. And for us specifically, that's the Mills community. That includes past and present students, it includes parents, it includes the staff, which is the administration, teachers, and it includes the district. All of those folks are key. So we build everything around the Mills community. And I think all of the speakers touched on how important community is. And so that's what we build everything around. We have, although our community pool, I'm sorry, our volunteer pool is small, we have an extremely hardworking and dedicated volunteer pool. Just to give an example of things that we've worked around, as, as Principal Dzinski mentioned, in the last couple of years, we've 
created wellness panels that, uh, for, for parents. And we've also created, um, just recently last year, for the students, we had snack sessions outside the library for students during exam time. Number two, one, of the, one other theme is consistency and being deliberate. What that means for us is it was important early on that not only in terms of our verbal communication, but in our actions as a parent group, we wanted to be deliberate in our actions and we wanted to be consistent. We weren't gonna have PTO meetings just to have meetings. We weren't going to have events just to have events meaning that we weren't gonna be there just to read minutes. We wanted to have PTO meetings that were meaningful. We wanted them to be centered around concerns that parents had. Um, so, so that's what we focused on. A huge example is the annual fund for Mills isn't centered around a number that we're trying to hit. What we want to try to tell parents is, is that it's important for 100% participation. So we try to drive that home. Regardless of what your income is, what your income level is, every parent needs to participate because every student is affected by that annual fund, meaning that every student can, can, part, can get something from that annual fund. So that's key for us, is that 100 participation is important. And lastly, kind of drawing from those two themes, is that it's important that every parent volunteer Every student, every staff member understands that we are focused on the students first and foremost and their well-being. So that's what we want to focus on and that's what we're, it's, it's not about politics, it's not about ego, and if you have that, please don't join. We want to make sure that you are first and foremost focused on the students and their well-being and I think that's why we we work well together, we've all become friends, is because we're first and, first and foremost focused on the students. I ended my first term last year, and I decided that my work is not done, so I'm taking on a second term, hopefully on to, to 2019. Um, I think everyone here in this room agrees that there's a lot of work, a lot of great work to be done, and a lot of positive work to be done in our community, and I think the way that I can serve the Millbrae community is through Mills, and I hope that the work that I do is, is coming out positively. So I, I thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do, um, and I thank you for your support of Mills and our students.